Hey, my name's Daniel and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to show you how to upgrade your UDM base or UDM Pro uh, using the latest firmware and what you need to do in order to upgrade that. Don't forget, if I've helped you in any way or if you like the content that I supply, smash that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and uh, let's get straight into it. Thanks. First of all, firmware version 1.8.5 was released on the UDM Pro and the UDM Base 24 days ago. Now, in, with firmware version 1.8.5 introduces the new Unify OS, or in fact, this was actually introduced on firmware version 1.8.0. Now, previously, you'd access your cloud control panel by going to network.unify ui.com with the release of firmware version 1.8.0 you now access your cloud your cloud controller by going to unify.ui.com from here in order to actually upgrade your firmware you got to go to ui.com forward slash downloads press on unify scroll down until you find your unify dream machine or unify dream machine pro in this case i'm doing a unify dream machine upgrade not a unified dream machine pro upgrade i do apologize i've done plenty of these over the past couple of weeks press on a download file press i accept and copy the url now the first thing to do is to make sure that when you go to your dream machine you scroll to settings you go down to controller settings you get a backup you press settings only and you download a backup of your controller this is just in case anything was to actually occur or if you need to revert for any reason. Once you have done this, all you need to do is then go back to your dream machine, press many dream machine, scroll to settings, scroll to firmware, press update manually, press provider URL, copy and paste the URL that you just got from unify.com forward slash download and press next. This will straight away start upgrading your firmware. Once the firmware has been upgraded, and this can take up to five minutes, so don't stress too much, you'll be able to actually access your your new Unified Cloud Controller from unified.ui.com. And from here, there are some several very important and brand new features. Uh, so you'll be able to check out my channel below for some new features coming to the channel soon. But the most important one that I absolutely love these days is you, you can now click on Settings, press on Settings, Scroll to advanced and you can actually restart your unified device straight from the dashboard now. You no longer need local access in order to restart your device. These are just some very important things. Now you can also do the upgrade via SSH. Uh, however, look, this is just the easier way to do it. I've never had any issues with the upgrade so far. Uh, there have been some times where some wireless on a guest network doesn't work anymore and you need to adjust the guest network wireless. Uh, other than that, most of the transitions have been very smooth. Haven't really had any issues. Um, but look, just as a precaution, make sure you do back up your controller first and uh, take it from there. Now look, again, if you like this video or if it helped you in any form of way, don't forget to press that subscribe button, hit thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.